I'm going to be building a very basic website with one page and some sample content. The main purpose of this is really just to introduce you to the fundamentals of building a site. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have already actually designed this website beforehand in a tool called Figma, which is a site that you can use to uh, build out your designs first um, and just get an idea of how you want to display your information. So this is this is uh, what the website will look like in the end when we're done coding it and developing the code and everything. So, all right, I'm going to be using today a tool called uh, VS Code to code everything out. Um, if you don't have a code editor already, you can download VS Code um, from their website. Um, just Google search VS Code, head over to the Visual Studio website, and it's gonna automatically pick up what operating system you're using, and you can just go ahead and download. And if that's, you know, if you're following along with this video or something like that, or, you know, if you just want a code editor, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so the next step is I already have Visual Studio Code open and everything. So the first thing you wanna do, uh, since this is a very basic website, you can just simply create a folder somewhere on your machine. I call this folder basic website. Once you have your folder created, go ahead and drag it on over to VS Code. So now in VS Code, you can see that basic website is the active folder that you're going to be working with. So after you drag that folder, we do need some files to be able to display um, some information or display your, your website. You have to have files. So the first file that we're going to create is called, um, oh, by the way, right click new file call it index.html because that is the, uh, it's a one page website. So all we're gonna need is an index.html. If you go into your folder that you created, basic website, you will see index.html has been created in your folder. Therefore, you can double click on this and it will open for you so that you're able to see all right, so you'll be able to see your changes here. Once you save them, refresh the page, anything that you edit in this index.html file, you will be able to see here in your browser. Now that we've done that, let me just show you a quick way to make sure everything's working properly. So I'm gonna type, hello world, okay? This is our index file in VS Code. So you want to go up here, click on save. Now, if you're not using a Mac, um, whatever um, operating system that you're using, just make sure to hit save so that you'll be able to see your changes. I'm going to head over here and make index.html the active window. Refresh, you can see hello world. So that's how you know everything's working. And we're just in the beginning. So, but that is a good way to any, for anything you're doing, make sure that everything's working properly first. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out of that. So the next step is for a website, you wanna have a basic HTML structure. This is not something you have to memorize or anything like that. Um, it's something you can pretty much copy and paste every time because it's the same thing every time pretty much when you're creating a website starting from scratch. And I'm gonna copy and paste it into my VS Code. Okay, so what this is, basically it is a basic HTML structure that you would pretty much use on, on any website that you develop or create. Um, you're gonna need you're gonna need that the, that header information. You're gonna need a title. You're gonna need your style sheet information, and you don't need to know what all that means right now because to build a website, you don't have to know the ins and outs and everything, but just know that you are gonna need these particular tags. 
So if I were to like save this right now, refresh this, you can see that my website is changing, it's updating, everything's working. Um, where it says external, external style, this is an H1 header. So that's letting it know that this is a header and you can see that header over here. That's why that font is bigger because it's a header. And then these, the two P's right here, these are paragraphs. So it's letting it know, it's basically letting the browser know that these are paragraphs and I want you to format them like so. All right, so we have our basic HTML structure. The next step we wanna do is, let's go ahead and erase these paragraphs out of here. We're not gonna need them because um, we're actually getting ready to start on our actual website now, now that we have our basic structure in there. The name of our website is called Official Website. Now you can name it anything you want, especially if you're following along, you can call it anything you want, it is your website. But just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna name it Official Website. I'm gonna go ahead and file, save it. Bam, official website. So we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, but we're not quite there yet. We got a little bit more work to do before uh, it's gonna look like that. So the very next step, the easiest thing to do is to just take it one step at a time. Because to get this whole design and get everything, making it look like a whole website, what I typically do is I start with one section at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the header, which is the title of our website and everything. So to make official website look like this, or at least get it starting to look like this, we got to tell it, we got to tell this thing, hey, we want to make it look pretty. So there's something called style sheets. And what style sheets do is actually again, make your website look pretty. Let's go ahead and create a new file called style.css. So now we have, you should now have two files in your, on your machine, sorry about that. All right, so you should have a style.css and an index.css. But we need to go over here to index.html and tell this thing Hey, it's not called my style.css, it's called style. So let's just change the name of this to style.css. And basically we're linking our HTML file to the style sheet. And our style sheet is basically our interior decorator. Our index.html is basically our house. Um, so we kind of need both. So what I'm gonna do is split VS Code into two columns. So that we're able to see both at the same time and the drag style over here. So now you can see we're working with two files now. That way it'll be easier for you to see exactly what I'm doing with everything. Okay, so our website looks pretty plain right now, once again. And um, Again, I did pre-build this and everything. Now, it's not always gonna be like that unless you do it yourself or you have a designer that's already done it. Most of the time, you uh, probably won't have a design um, like this, but uh, all we're gonna do right now is take this design and code it into a real live website, okay? All right. So the first thing we're going to have to do is um, we're going to go ahead and start styling this header. And let's, uh, first of all, before we style anything, um, let us test this out, okay? All right, so right now, official website is wrapped around an H1. So what we'll do over here in style.css uh, we're gonna make a selector called H1. What selector does is it's saying, we're communicating with the HTML file saying, hey, I want you to select H1 over here where, uh, where official website is. Whatever's in H1, that's what's gonna change. It doesn't matter what's inside of these, inside of this uh, CS, uh, tag selector, that's what's gonna, that is what we're changing, no matter what's inside of it. So let's just make the color red, just to make sure 
everything's working once again. Um, the more you test, and I don't like I said, no matter what you're doing, no matter how much, I mean, ugh, can't talk. <laughs> um, no matter what you're doing, uh, make sure to run just very simple tests to make sure everything's working. And as you can see, that's not working. So let's see. Oh, I know why. File save all. We didn't save all. Refresh. So okay, great. Color is red. So we know that's working. All right. So let's go ahead and erase this because I don't want I don't want official website to be wrapped in an H1 just because we are gonna make that our header. So instead of calling it H1, let's make it our header because we're gonna be putting, of course, some uh, other stuff inside of there. Um, we have a little subtitle here that I'm just gonna copy and paste right on in here. The greatest website on earth built and designed by For You. Hmm. Let's just put For You. <laughs> for You. Okay. And again, you can put anything you want in there. It is your website. Uh, these are just some sample items here. So I'm going to go ahead and file, save. Okay, so we're just telling it we want this, we want what's, what everything that will be inside of the header, we're putting it in between those tags there. Okay. So we're gonna have to select the header over here in style.css. So we have a background color of kind of a lightish pink. I'm not exactly sure the exact color, but <laughs> I'm gonna copy and paste the color from over here in Figma. So um, again, so header, we're selecting the header from the index.html. We're gonna make the background color that lightish pink. So the way you're gonna do that, once you type in background color, you need a number sign, and then you paste in the hex code. So what that's telling it is background color, the color that you tell it. This could be anything, this could be orange this could be blue whatever you want but we're going to make it this color so i'm going to go ahead and file and save refresh bam uh-oh uh-oh we got some more work to do so the next thing we want to do uh just to make this a little bit bigger because it's kind of tiny right now so let's do some padding in here. Let's make this padding uh, about 175 pixels. File, save. Okay, that's a little bit better. You can see that a little bit better. And I'm gonna go ahead and center the text just because, well, the text is centered, it looks better that way. Um, especially for a title, save. All right, better. But now everything's on one line, everything's the same font size. Well, what are we gonna do about that? Well, very simple. What you wanna do is, where uh, official website and this subtitle essentially are two different entities. So we don't want them to be the same font size. We don't want them to be on the same line. So what we're gonna do for official website, we're gonna wrap it around how we kinda had it originally inside of an H1. So we're gonna tell it, hey, I want official website to be a header. And for the greatest website on earth, built and designed for you, we can make that, uh, we'll make it an H3. We're gonna take that text and paste it inside of the H3. So as you can see, official website is wrapped around in an H1 and the greatest website on earth built and designed by you is wrapped around an H3. These are headers. This is stuff that you can see in Microsoft Word if you're familiar with Microsoft Word. It's kind of similar. So let's go ahead and file and save that. Refresh. Okay, wow, that is so much better. So we got something working with this here. We're working with something is what I meant to say. <laughs> of course, want official website to be a different color than 
the color that is of the subtitle, just to kind of differentiate it a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is this H1, I'm gonna make a new CSS selector. We're gonna call it header H1. So I wanted to, I wanna let this, let the uh, file know that, hey, I only want the H1s in for my header to be white. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, Woo! so much better. So we're almost there for the header. Well, we are there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and make that font size to 80 PX. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, that's better. So we got something, we're working with something. You, can, you have a title, you have a subtitle. And so now we at least, it looks somewhat official now. A lot better than when we first started. <laughs> you know what I realized throughout this whole video, my microphone was not turned on. So sorry about that. All right, but it is now. So as you can see, so we've already got our H1 here. Now, the next thing I want to do uh, for the H3 down here, uh, where we have our H3, I want to create an H3, make the font size a little bit bigger to 30 pixels. We'll save it. Okay, that's a little bit better. I wanted to be able to see that subtitle a little bit more since it's what users are going to see when they first visit your site. So you can see that our font is a different font and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change the font over the entire website. So we're gonna go ahead and add a body tag up here and what the body tag does is it's going to, um, not body tag, excuse me, the, um, the body uh, selector and it's gonna select the whole body. That means it's going to select the whole uh, website so you see this body here it usually usually you put that in uh, beforehand uh, is what I was talking about earlier the HTML structure so let's go ahead and make the font family uh, like Arial or something like that and VS code is gonna have some preloaded stuff for you so you can just click enter and it's gonna preload that uh, font uh, family in for you and when you go ahead and save now our font is a lot better than Times New Roman. <laughs> All right. I mean, who really uses Times New Roman? I don't know. Maybe. I don't use it. Okay. Now we're pretty much done with the, t with the header and everything. So we're gonna head over to the next section, which is the about section. So we're getting to the fun stuff. We're getting, we're getting close here. So for the about section, it's a totally new section. And we're kind of gonna do something similar to what we did with the header, um, but slightly different. So what I'm going to do here is underneath where we created our header code, I'm going to create a section tag, okay? So we have a section. I'm just gonna copy and paste what's in there. So as you can see, there's an about us and then there's some text. So I'm gonna say about us text. So there's our stuff. We have a new section, a brand new, spanking new, beautiful section. I'm gonna go ahead and file and save that, come over and I'm going to refresh. So you can see our section is there, but it's not quite what we want just yet. So the way we get it to looking like what it does here, oh, before we go that far, let's go ahead and add our image. We do have an image over there too. So the way you insert an image into an HTML file is you're gonna create a tag called IMG. IMG lets the HTML file know, okay, we got an image coming through, what you want, what you want. Well, all right, stop it. <laughs> um, so we gotta tell it, hey, 
this uh, we got to tell it what where the source is going to come from so that's src equals and we're going to put quotes right after that because what we're doing is we're going to have to insert a source a url source from where it's going to come from we're going to add an alt uh, usually alt is for like accessibility purposes it's very important to have that and we're just going to call it we're going to call that image um, about us image put that in the alt uh, put that in quotes beside the alt now we need an image so now I already have some preloaded images on my computer um, you can use whatever images you want for your website um, these images are going to be available uh, to you uh, in my description so if you want to download them you are welcome to do so or you can use uh, images of your choice um, as you can see I'm using an image of a computer with a hand and a cup of coffee a plant and what else there's a pen um, and a notebook oh that's good stuff all right <laughs> it's a stock image from pexels.com pexels.com that's a good site to get images from if you don't want to use the images that I have here so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this um, as you can see I have like I said some preloaded images I'm, I'm going to drag this over into here now why did I do that what I, I'm sorry about that before we do that let's create a folder for our images because it just makes your file system look so much neater when you do it like that so all I'm going to do is that about image, I'm going to drag it up into that folder and we're going to move it. So as you can see, we have a folder called images right there and we have our about image. So that's where our SRC equals is coming from. That's our image source. So all you got to do is start typing into VS code. Um, let's see a slash and you see how it starts coming up. It starts to say, okay, what you want, what you want. I want images and I want about.jpg. So VS Code um, can do that, which is really cool. I don't have to remember anything. So we're gonna go ahead and save that and it's gonna look really bad when I refresh this. Uh-oh. Oh, let's take that slash out of there. Let's see, file, save it again. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's huge. It's taking up all this space. Uh oh, we got to fix that. We got to fix that. All right. Uh, so, to our section, um, we're going to add a class to the section. Now, um, this is so that we can distinguish um, between what section we're talking about because we're going to have more than one section. As you can see, we have, you know, we have our about section. But we're also going to have a team section and then um, well that's it as far as that goes what I'm going to do is create um, an about class so that's just letting that's just letting our HTML file know that this class is going to apply to this section tag all right so to create a class you have to put a dot first and then whatever the name you're gonna name it, which we're gonna name this about. What we're telling it is this class is going to apply to this section of information. All right, so our about section is a background color of black, pretty much, yeah. I thought it was maybe like an off black, I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, uh, so because it's black is a very easy color to remember, it's zero, 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 six zeros, which is why they call it a hex code because typically hex codes have six digits. So we're gonna make it a background color of six zeros. Don't forget to put the number sign before that um, because that's gonna let it uh, that's how you do hex codes in CSS unless you just I mean you also have the option of just putting black it's up to you it really doesn't matter um, okay so the next thing I want to do here uh, because like I said this image is really really big so we're gonna go ahead and add an image uh, selector 
just for the class um, about. So the way you do that, um, again, remember our image, we did, we put an image in here. So the only thing we have to do is we're gonna let the CSS file know for the about class images, we want a max width of a certain width because right now it's just ginormous and it's just too big for anybody. But a max width of 450 px. We're gonna file and save it, which means it will only ever get bigger than 450 pixels. Let's refresh. Sorry about that. File save all because it has to save everything, both the index.html as well as the style.css. Refresh. Okay, it's much better. And as you can see, our text is black. We're not able to see that right now. So um, let's go ahead and change our about color, the, uh, the class about inside of this section. We're gonna change that color to white so that we're able to see our text. And don't forget to save all, refresh. Okay, so now we can see the, the actual font. Now we're getting close, but we're gonna have to separate these two entities, these two blocks of information into two different blocks. So we have all our stuff there, which is important. You wanna make sure you have all you need and then you can style it. There's something called Flexbox. And Flexbox allows you to easily do this whole thing where you're aligning these boxes like this. So to utilize Flexbox, um, you wanna add a display property um, to your um, CSS. So we're gonna apply the Flexbox property to the About class. So we're gonna come over here and say Flex, Oh, sorry, display flex. And just, and I'm gonna go ahead and save all just to show you. You see how everything's in box, boxes now and pretty nice little boxes? But we're, we're gonna spread that out a little bit, but that's just an easy, simple way to get everything lined up into boxes. So, um, it, everything's a little smushy right now. So I'm gonna give uh, the about class a padding kind of like what we the padding that we gave the header section so we're gonna do a padding same thing of 175 pixels and we're gonna go ahead and save all refresh okay Whew, that's a lot better but we still got a little bit of work to do because as you can see it's still kind of smushy everything's kind of like all together right now so the next step for Flexbox is we're going to need to separate these two pieces of information into boxes, which that's really simple as well. So all you need to do is we'll uh, right here under our section with the class about, we're going to say box. All right. Let's give this a class as well, because we're gonna be doing a flex box for the next section as well. So just so we keep our code organized, just in case somebody else wants to come behind us and edit our stuff, they can easily see that we've given this a class of about box. So this is a box and I'm gonna take that piece of information and I'm gonna copy it again, because we're gonna need two boxes because we have two pieces of information. So I'm gonna take everything right here for the about text, cut that, paste it into our first box. So, and just to make this easier to see. Okay. So we have two different boxes here. All you're going to do is put your information in between these tags. It's no different from what we did up here in the header. You're putting information in, inside of a tag so that the file knows to apply that CSS um, styling to that particular piece of information. So go ahead and paste in that about us text 
we're gonna do the same thing for the image. You're gonna cut that image piece of code, put that into the second box, okay? Let's get rid of some of that white space. So we've created a box class called about box. So we're, need, we're gonna need to come over here to our CSS and create a class, remember dot, and we're gonna call that about box. Now, the flex box, um, the, and you know what, just to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna put this right under about, because remember we have a display of flex. So about knows that it knows that this these um, that this styling is going to be flexed. So our boxes are going to adhere to that um, because they are set to a class of about box and they're inside of that section. All right. So because our boxes are so close close together right now, I'm going to give them a margin maybe 30 pixels because what that's going to do is it's going to spread everything out a little bit better okay so it's looking a little bit more like what we have over here in our actual design just to show you that these are actual boxes i'm going to give this a border i mean oops, sorry about that i applied that to the wrong thing I meant to put that, the padding under about box, a padding of 5px. Just to show you these are actual boxes, I'm gonna give our about box class a border of one pixel, make it solid, make it red. Just to show you that they're, they're real boxes. So you see, if there was a border around them, you'll see they're actual boxes, but we don't want a border around them. But that's just to show you what Flexbox does, is it aligns our boxes all nice and neat for you. So I'm gonna take that out. So the next thing we wanna do, you see that about us, about us is, you know, it's bigger, this text is centered and everything. So I'm gonna give about us a, and let's see, let's do an H3. And we're gonna cut about us into an H3. Now we already have an H3 up here with a font size of 30 PX. And um, so because we already have it, I'm just going to apply a text align center. Now we've already used an H3 up here for um, our slogan, but because our slogan is already centered, I'm gonna go ahead and reuse it because uh, our about us is also centered. So it has those same properties basically. So it should work for us. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and file, you know what? No, that's not gonna work, I'm sorry, because <laughs> that text is black. So I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Let's give about us an H3, but give it its own class, and let's call it about us. And I'll go ahead and just take that out of there. And now we're still, now it still has an H3, but it's gonna have its own class. So it's going to, it will have a font size of 30 PX. However, because we're giving it its own class down here about us, um, it's still, it's gonna take on the properties of the class as well. But all, all we wanna do is really make the font, make the color white. Of course, there's always better ways to stay organized, better ways to do this. But just just to kind of show you different ways to do things, um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna allow for a little bit of flexibility during this tutorial. Um, so let's go ahead and refresh. Oh, VS Code. Uh oh, I think I pressed the wrong thing. Okay, save all, not save as. Okay, there. So now about us, there's a little bit more. You know, it's bigger. And also, I'm gonna make that about us um, class text align center because in our design file it is centered. So let's go ahead and file, save all. Okay, now it's centered. 
I'm gonna make this image just a little bit bigger just because so it'll align a little bit better with our about text. So let's give it, a, instead of a max width of 450, well, we'll keep a max width of 450, but we'll give it a height of 400 pixels. And then um, we'll say object fit cover because that's gonna help with the aspect ratio because sometimes when you when you resize an image with CSS, it can distort that image a little bit. So when you do an object fit cover, it kind of zooms that image in and keeps kind of a good ratio so it doesn't look all weird. Because, okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna t take out object fit cover and just show you what I'm talking about. So let's just say we resized it like that, save all. And our image, see how it kind of looks weird and distorted a little bit? So I use object fit cover just to fix that, make it look nicer. See how that looks a little bit better? All right. Okay, so what we wanna do, you see how this text is aligned left, but in our design file, it's centered. We wanna keep that same consistency. So um, for our about us section, let's go ahead and wrap our text around a paragraph tag so a paragraph tag is really simple it's a p so you're gonna wrap that text inside of it and let's see cut and paste inside of the p so we know so this, the file knows that we're applying it to our paragraph text and uh, and for that let's do this let's add um, instead of, we're not going to add a class to the P right here. We're just going to put, um, you see how we have our about class and you see how we did IMG for images. So for all the paragraphs inside of about class, all you have to do is dot about P. So the CSS file knows that anything inside of about any paragraphs inside we're gonna give it a line height just to make that text kind of spread out a little bit. Let's give it a line height. Um, let's do, it's kind of like double spacing, triple spacing, you know, in Microsoft Word, except we call it line height in CSS. We'll try, we'll start with a line height of 30 px and see how that pans out. Let's do save all up. Oh, I press save as again, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let's give it, um, let's see, text align center. Okay. And we can also resize our image one more time. So we can do a max width of like, let's say 550 change the height the height to 500 and you kind of have to play around sometimes um, you may not get it exactly how you want on first try so you it'd be okay with you know playing around with numbers playing around with pixels until you know it's like you know okay that I like you know I like this a little bit more um, what I'm gonna do is just take away some of the text just for the sake because this is a demo just for the sake of this to make it look as nice as possible we go all right so and I'm gonna change go back and change that to let's do let's do a 420 px for the width and height okay not so bad so we, we you know we have our about stuff you know we have everything in it looks nice so that's that's something to get started you can play around with these numbers play around with these pixels but that's pretty good to get you started there for okay so now that we have our about section done um, let's go ahead and move on to uh, the team section now our team section is slightly different because as you can see we have more images here we have a back, a nice little mountain background because uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different for that. So we're pretty much gonna do the exact same thing we've been doing since header, the exact same thing we've been doing on About Us. And we're gonna go ahead and add a section.
And so we have our team and I'm gonna go through this um, as simplest as possible. Uh, the best way to do it, the most efficient way to do it, and um, to make it not so complicated, because it's really not. <laughs> it's just a matter of how you, how you process it and um, what your process is. And my process is always very simple. <laughs> it's possible. All right, it's, let's go ahead and add a class. So we're gonna add a class equals um, team. We can just call it team. And we're gonna go ahead and go over to our CSS and make a class called team. And um, again, I do have some preloaded images in here. So um, first, uh, instead of a background color, we're gonna do a background image. And you're gonna tell the CSS, hey, th there's a URL here. And that's where you're gonna insert your image in here. And the preloaded images, uh, image is of the mountain. So I'm going to move it over to images. There we go. So our mountain is in there. Okay, so again, you can just you can literally just type images mountain and bam, it's like right there. I'm going to go ahead and add the content into the team section. So we have the team. I'm gonna do a little bit of markup here. So I'm gonna put, put our content in first and then we'll add some stuff. The easiest way to do this, you see how, you see how we have uh, three images and then we have the, type, the title of the person, the title of the team member and then the team member's name. Because these are all gonna follow the same format, we're gonna put some markup and then, and then just follow that same markup um, pattern. So when you see a pattern, you can just go ahead and make a little template for yourself and that way you can just copy and paste. That's what I always say. <laughs> so um, so we got Mr. Penguin right here, right? So the first thing we need is an image because you see all of them have images. They all have little profile pictures. So let's put our image tag in here. We are gonna need an image source and we're not gonna worry about putting that in yet. And then we're gonna have an alt. And remember the alt is for accessibility purposes, uh, allowing people to be able to access the name of the image. So we have a title here. So let's go here, okay. So for the title of the person, we'll make it, let's do, let's do an H4. Cause we've already been using H3. So let's do an H4 for the title of the person. And then let's do an H5 for the name of the team member. So our first team member is, well, before we even do that, let's just copy and paste this. We're gonna need this two more times. So our first person is Penguin. So let's go ahead and put an alt tag right here and say, Call, call the alt CEO penguin. In the H4, this is the CEO. And then in the H5, his name is what? Penguin. And then uh, just to show you what it's looking like, just to show you the live changes. Refresh. You see our backgrounds coming in. You see the team. You can see the text basically. There's nothing fancy right now but you see how this ceo penguin is coming in that's the description of the image that's what happens when there's no image but there's a description and for some reason your image doesn't load people can see what it would have been if it had have loaded so let's go ahead and continue so um we also have a web developer teddy so let's go ahead and put an alt web what did we say for alt? okay web developer Teddy and for his H4 web developer for H4 and then H5 Teddy and same thing for over here for content creator Woofy. Woofy is our content creator. Okay. <laughs> I don't know I just thought that was a funny name. I made it up. 
All right, so alt content creator Wolfie. And whatever whatever the name of your team members are, you do what you see fit if you're actually following along with this and you're, um, and you're actually making a website for yourself. Um, so for the H5, we're, uh, this is, oh, we forgot his uh, title. Let's see, okay. Content creator. Woofie. So we're gonna go ahead and file, save those changes just so I can show you what it's looking like. And bam, see our whole team is in there now. Our whole team. Do you see how team is all in there with, you know, with that? It, team, we wanna differentiate that because that's that's the title of, um, of our section. So let's go ahead and put team in an, um, we can do, we can put team in an H, uh, put it, uh, that pesky H3 again, not pesky. Uh, a mighty old H3, let's call it the mighty old H3. File save. All right, so now team is bigger than everything, so we know it's a section. Um, but what I wanna do before I get into like the, like, the team members and everything, I wanna go ahead and um, format and style the background and everything, uh, this, the actual section itself. So let's go into the class team. We're gonna give the background size, a co the, a, the cover property, just because right now the background, you can barely see anything because it's so big. So we want to make sure that the size is actually to where it's looking like our design file. You you want to actually be able to see the mountains. So, um, and then we'll give this, the team section a padding of a hundred pixels. So let's go ahead and file, save all, refresh. So we can at least now see the mountains because that's what we want, right? We want to be able to see the mountains. All right, so for our team right now, it's, you know, it's left aligned. We want it to be center aligned. So you remember our about H3 and we call it about us? Let's call it section. Well, yeah, because about us, look, about us is centered, right? and the text is white. Team is going to be centered and the text is white. So if you can, um, there's something called dry. Do not repeat yourself. I may have done that already, um, probably. But um, again, I am allowing for some flexibility to let you know there's more than one way to do things. But if you don't have to do it again and you recognize, hey, I've already used this pattern before, go ahead and reuse it. Um, now we can keep the same class name, but I would prefer to change it. So, so right here, about us class, about us class. Let's change it to section header. And all you gotta do when you change it, change it here. You're gonna make sure to change it in the CSS. That's all you gotta do. That way you can simply copy this Go down here to team, paste it, and just remember to change it to the team. So section header, and we can move this so that it makes more sense. Move it up to like where all the general stuff is. Keep everything organized. Go ahead and file and save all. Refresh. All right, great. So now team, is white and center just like about us so that way you know we really didn't have to make a whole new class so let's go ahead and move on to the team members themselves now remember what we did with about we had to do a flex box and we had to align everything we're pretty much going to do the same thing so we're not going to worry about the images right now let's just worry about getting everything lined up what i'm going to do is put all of these in boxes now the team section is going to be different from about us about us it only had like two boxes but the team it has a title and then three boxes that are going to need to be aligned but you want to put um these boxes all in its same like uh flex just because we don't want team to flex because let me show you what will happen if we made 
the team class a display of flex like we did with the about section. This is what's gonna happen. So you see team is gonna flex. We don't want team to flex, we want team to stay up there. So we're gonna take that out. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to put a box around only the team members. So you see where we're where we are right now in the code. Um, and I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Where you wanna start this box is right after that H3 where team is. So we're gonna create a box first of all. And we're gonna give this box a class of the team. All right, and what I'm going to do just to, because I want, I want you to see this if you're not familiar with coding, if you're not familiar with Flexbox, just, a, just um, a demonstration of how it works. So we're gonna make a class called the team and we're gonna make it a display flex. And what I'm going to do is make the border 1px solid red, because I wanna put a border around it just so that you can actually see what's happening, okay? So, um, but this is the second part of this. This is the second part of this. Now that we have that, we're gonna have to create three boxes inside of this box because this box right here, that's where it's going to be what holds all our team members. So we're gonna create boxes inside the box box inside the box inside the box inside the box okay no that's not really. all right box we're gonna do another box now we're gonna call this class of team box now all the team boxes are gonna be the exact same um, because they're all remember our design file they're, they all follow the same pattern so we're not gonna do anything different we're just gonna make them all look the same so the only thing you're gonna have to do here is take this and paste it two more times. So for team box, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to give it a border of one PX, one pixel solid reds, just to so you can see live what is actually happening. So Mr. Penguin, he's got his own box. So we're gonna cut him and paste him inside of the first team box. Remember, you're putting everything inside of the tags. So box, box, put that information in between there. Same for the second box. Mr. Teddy, cut him, put him in his own box. And same for Woofy. All right, let's get rid of some of that white space. So I'm gonna go ahead and file and save these changes and refresh, and you see our boxes? So this is the big box. This is Mr. Big Box right here. This is the team. And then you have team box, which is these little guys, okay? So basically that way team is its own thing. The team, it doesn't get trapped into all this because we don't want that to happen. So let's format this a little bit to get it, you know, a little bit better. So for for the team, for the team, we are going to justify this content center because our design file, like if you're working with the, if you have a designer or a person that wants it to look exactly the same, remember, always go back and refer to it if you need to. But it, all this is centered. So that's why we wanna justify this content center. Go ahead and file, save, refresh. Okay, now we're centered, okay? So for our boxes, for the team boxes, the only thing we need to do is pretty much let's align the text center, text align center. And we'll give these a margin of 50 pixels. That's gonna spread them out because you see how close they are together right now. And then we're gonna give them, I know there's no background color on here, but I thought it would be, I, I changed it at the last minute. So we are gonna be giving these boxes 
a background color, a background color of black just because I think it looks a little bit more organized to me and so you don't have to do it but it's just kind of a last minute change on my end so which in the real world that may happen it may be a last minute change and you may have to you know do some changes and then we're gonna make the opacity 0 0.8 so the op opacity is like transparency kind of like it, how uh, it's like a dark and light and kind of thing. So the opacity is set to 0.8. We're gonna do a padding of 20 pixels. And then the width of the team boxes will make them 400 pixels. Now I'm going, I know I typed all this code at one time. So because I want you to see what's happening, I'm gonna go through them step by step for you. So first of all, what did we do? We did a text align of center. So what I'll do is, let's do toggle line comment. So I'll, I'll do, no, I'll tell you what. We'll do it one by one. So I'm gonna, un I'm gonna comment these out. Commenting out means uh, the files, the browser is not gonna pick this up. It's almost like they're invisible. So I commented out this code and we're gonna go step by step. So text align center, save all. Great, so our text is center. Next, we gave it a margin of 50 pixels. Comment that out, file, save all. Great, now we're spread out. Now you're starting to see, you're starting to see these boxes um, spread out a little bit more. Now we gave, we, gave it a we gave them a background color of black. Let's uncomment that. File, save all. Uh-oh, we can't see anything, so we're gonna have to do color white. File, save all. Perfect, okay. All right, we gave it an opacity of 0.8. Let's uncomment that. File, save all. Let me show you what opacity does. So refresh it. You see how they got a little bit lighter? I'll change the opacity to, let's say, hmm, let's do 0.2. File, save all. Okay, you see how I got lighter right there, but I'm gonna keep it at 0.8. I think that looks better. All right, file, save all. Okay. All right, so you see we're, we're coming together. We got our little team members all ready to go almost. Okay, so let's uncomment padding. File, save all. Give that a little bit of padding, boom. Boxes are a little bigger and we're gonna make the width 400 pixels, uncomment that, file, save all. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we are gonna need to add our images. Now, before we add our images, because you remember before that it was just so big. So before we even put our images in there, I'm gonna go ahead and resize them and you're able to do that. You can resize your images beforehand. And the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna add team box. We already have the class, so all the images inside of team box. Um, let's give them a maximum width of 200 pixels. That way they're coming in small, they're not gonna come in big. So again, I have these preloaded images that I'm gonna go ahead and drag in here like I've been doing. You get, again, you're welcome to use your own images or uh, go ahead over to where I have this website, uh, the code and everything, and you can download them. So we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna take Penguin, Woofy, and Teddy. Drag them all over here in the images folder, and bam, there they are. So. The only thing we have to do is so simple to put these images. That's why I love VS Code. So for Penguin, the only thing I have to do is type images, bam, Penguin right there. Same thing for web developer. Go to images and that, that's Teddy. And same for, and, and remember we're putting this in the source uh, section of the image. So remember the image, uh, the it has to know where to pull that, pull the image from and it's pulling it from the images folder and then the actual file. So uh, for content uh, creator, we're gonna do images and that was Wolfie, right? Wolfie's a content creator, great. 
All right, so let's go ahead and file and save all. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh oh. <laughs> all right, so we got our images in there and we still have, I still kept the red box around there just to show you live like what actually happens when you're doing it. Cause it's so easy, it's easier to see an illustration of what Flexbox actually does now you see how in our design file our images are circles um that's an easy fix um an easy thing to do not fix because we haven't even done anything yet um the what you what you want to do to make your images circles is um let's go ahead and give give these images a border radius of 50 percent and border radius is just saying the radius of the images so if we're doing a radius, the, the higher the radius, the more circular it's going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and file, save all. And as you can see, they're kind of like ovals right now. So we're going to have to work with this a little bit more. Um, so what we'll do is kind of what we did up above with the about uh, image. We did an object fit cover. Oh, not contain cover. And then a max width of 200 and then a height of 190. So you again, you have to play around with numbers sometimes and different different things just to get it looking exactly like you want it to. All right. So now we have nice little circles right here. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and remove the borders uh, from this because I've pretty much gone ahead and illustrated what Flexbox does and how it aligns everything for you through that demonstration. And if you go ahead and refresh, so now our team is done. All right. So um the font is is kind of small um on our on our live site so we can go ahead and make like the titles of this bigger so like h4 um we can do uh let's see team box h4 and then we can do a team box h5 and for the h4s we can make a, a font size of 30 pixels and then for h5 you can make a font size of 14 pixels let's go ahead and file save all and refresh yeah that's a whole lot better because we want our team to be on the forefront our team is why our businesses thrive so we want to make sure to show them some love we don't want their names to be small um and you can still play around with that a little bit so we have we officially have a header we have an about section. We have a team section. The last thing we're going to add is a footer. I didn't do too much in the footer. I mean, this is like some people don't even have footers. I have footer for just different reasons. I put my social media links in the footer. I put like a site map in there. It's it's up to you if you want to add one, but I always think so. I always think it looks nice to have one because you can put different. It's just another section to have things. So let's go ahead and put footer, kind of like what we did earlier with section, but we're not calling it section, we're calling it footer. And I did the same thing with header. With header, I call that header, and so with footer, I'm gonna call it footer. Oh my gosh, I was like, am I recording? <laughs> All right, um, so for the footer, the only thing I have in there is copyright. Um, option A, oh, option G, 2019. And it's, it's, it's really simple. Um, you're just gonna add this to your cascading style sheet, CSS. We're gonna give it a padding of 175 pixels, make the background black. Go ahead and file, save all. So you can't see anything right now, but you see something is forming there. Something is being given birth to. And uh, we'll make the color white because we want to be able to see it. 
does not make sense to have black text with a black background. So we'll give it a font size of 20 pixels and we're gonna align that text center. Whoops, center, Ugh. File, save all, refresh, and bam, got your copyright. So our website is pretty much done. Now, if you wanna make some tweaks to this, um, like some things that I saw, like I may wanna make this image like wider or something. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but most importantly, you wanna make sure to go ahead and get what you need in the website first. Like we already, like if this was a real website for somebody and they were like, hey, I just need a title. I just need some about stuff. I, I need my team members. It's done. And so I can, and I can pretty much like, let's just say, they're like, hey, I need my website now. Well, it's done technically. So I could say, well, there's a little bit more stuff, but they're like, nope, well, it's done. So you don't wanna spend too much time doing like tiny, tiny stuff. You wanna get everything done first, especially if you're making websites for people or you're thinking about making websites for people. Um, you see how quickly we were able to get this up and this can get very easily scale. You can add pages to it if you want, things like that. For this image right here, um, I'm gonna go up. I wanna make it a little bit bigger, like maybe 480 or something like that. File save all. All right, just a little bit bigger. Now, like for your team members, like let's just say you wanted to add some information about your team or something like that. You can go um, like penguin right here. You can put like a little P tag and um, add some Ipsum. Ipsum basically means um, it's just text that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, basically just a filler, it's filler text. So kind of like what we did here, like this literally doesn't say anything, but it's like <laughs> just text. And they say it's Latin. This, uh, what I have here is Latin or something like that. I haven't really read into it. I just literally, I go to the site and I get what I need and I'm out of there. So I'm just gonna copy this P for all of these and paste it under all our little team members here. Save all, refresh. So that's if, you know, you want, you want them to have like a little description and then um, of course, that's like really like close together. So um, where are we? Team box. So go to team box, team box, put a P for all the paragraphs in our team boxes. We're gonna give them a line height, kind of like double spacing, remember? Pick uh, 30 pixels, go ahead and file, save all, refresh. Okay, that's a lot better. And it, I mean, there's so many possibilities. Like I said, you know, this is just a starter website. You can do so much with this. Um, I mean, if you want to add, like, like I said, some different pages, you can easily put a navigation up here. You can just, this is a website that can just get you started. Um, you know, if you want to create a portfolio, if you have music, if you're an entrepreneur um, and you're like, man, I can't pay anybody, but I don't really want to use Wix. I don't really want to use WordPress because that's just too much. I just want to do my own thing. Well, this is a great way to get you started. And we didn't spend a whole, we didn't even spend a lot of time doing this. And that's just, that just goes to show you, if you just learn a little bit of code, you know, you can get your stuff. You don't have to depend on, you know, a template. Cause sometimes we just, we don't really like templates. They don't have everything we need. And um, this will allow you to make it look like, like you want, because I've never been a big fan of templates cause they always have something like, it's so much code, especially if you're a beginner. It's a lot of code you have to go through. You're, you're gonna get frustrated if you're a beginner. Um, but, you know, like I said, you can literally bypass all that and just do it yourself. And this is a scalable website, which means it can get bigger. All right, so enough chit chat. Let's, let's make it live so our family and friends can see it, okay? So what I use to make my website slide I'm going to recommend Netlify because Netlify, yeah, it's easy. So Netlify, 
So as you can see, it's an all-in-one platform for automating web, modern web projects. We have a modern web project, so we meet the criteria. <laughs> okay, um, you can, I already have a, an account, so if you wanna sign up, you can do so. Now, you see at the bottom here where it says, want to deploy a new site without connecting to Git. Git is a version control system. You may or may not be familiar with that, but you don't have to connect it to Git or anything. You can literally drag and drop your website right here and it'll be live in like two seconds. So let me show you how to do that. So our folder here, we called it basic website, remember? So all our stuff is in here. We got our images, we got our index and our style. So all we gotta do is drag this baby right here. It's gonna load our website up for us. And you see where it says Romantic Brown 2F80C2.net look like that's the website, I know. So if you click on it, bam, our website is on the internet. Oh my gosh. Okay, now one thing I wanna do here, here because that name is just crazy. If a Netlify, you can go to site settings right here, go to change the name. So let's just say, let's just say I am a web developer or something like that. And I want it to be Jashelle's Web Services or something like that, whatever you want it to be. And I'm gonna save it, go back to overview, you see where it says Gishelle's web services.netlify.com? Bam. Oh, wait a minute. It's one more thing I wanted to show y'all. Oops. Let me go back. Okay. And which this, like I said, this is a very basic, basic way to do this. It, it, there is an easier way to deploy your websites and have them automatically uh, going for you every time you update it. But if you want to make a change, which I'm going to have to because I forgot something, you see up here where it says external style.html right here. Well, what if I don't want my website title to be external style.html when you go to it? Okay, up here in your HTML, you see where it says title? That's a really easy thing to remember title. You can go in here and call it my cool website or whatever, whatever you want to call it. File, save all, refresh. You see my cool website now. The only thing though, the way we're doing it is like I said, it's a basic tutorial. So we are gonna have to go back into our folder and we are gonna have to unfortunately redeploy our website again. So we have to go to deploys, um, you make sure you're under your website that you just created, and we are gonna have to drag that folder. So anytime you wanna make an update, you are gonna have to do that. If you're not connected to Git for version control, like GitHub or just something like that, um, it, can, it can update your site automatically, but if you're not familiar with that, I'll probably do another tutorial on that at some point. Um, but I really don't like this site name. I'm gonna change it to, let's change it to, hmm. Shell's website, save. Okay, go back to overview. All right, yay, our website is done and it's complete. And we have a brand new website on the web, everybody. And, oh, come on internet, okay. My, my computer froze up. But yeah, that's how you make a website um, from the ground up. Again, this is very basic, um, no bells and whistles, straight up open open a text editor on your computer and start typing. It can be, your website can be up in a matter of one hour. So um, I'll post some resources below this video. Um, also, um, if you wanna learn more about like, cause uh, full disclosure, this website will not look great on mobile whatsoever because I did not go into media queries just because I was trying to make it simple, which media queries aren't hard or anything, but media queries make it so your website will look good on phones, not just desktop. So if I were to do this, 
the website is gonna like kind of break a little bit on a phone. And this is very easy to fix. And I'll, you know what? I, I'll probably do a part two to this video just because it's already long. But at least for now, and pe a lot of people don't pay attention to this, but a lot of people are looking at your website from a mobile phone. And um, you want to make sure that it looks good on a phone. And it's literally like one, one line of code below your prop your CSS properties and everything. But you know, for now you do have a good website for the desktop. And um, like I said, I'll probably just come back and do another video for media queries and probably we'll just keep building on this. Um, this will be like a part one type thing, you know, I'm going with the flow. This is my first tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day, good night and good luck.